Okay, so in this video clip, I'm going to set out how to estimate uh, American option, uh, but first of all, European option, then American option, and set up some R code in this online R uh, compiler. Uh, this particular online um, resource is quite useful, um, and it means that even on a mobile phone or iPad, you can run in theory you can run um, R code and compile. So what's here is the we're loading up the Deriv markets uh, package from R and that is a dedicated uh, option pricing software and with that we can invoke uh, these commands binome up uh, declare these arguments and then run the estimation for uh, the, in this instance, the European option. And then we'll compare that against the spreadsheet that I've already set up, uh, European, and make the comparison uh, with the respective outputs. Okay, so uh, to run, just to examine a little bit the code, uh, we invoke, we load up uh, the, the RIV markets uh, software package, we load in these arguments for the European option. We run the binom op function, which should return the value of the option. We, uh, in addition, we will output, uh, in addition to this, just the European value of the option, um, uh, the trees. So stock price tree, option price tree, we will return parameters. And then we'll map out a graph that is generated to just look at, observe uh, the, the stock price tree for Cox Ross Rubenstein. We have here in the specification CRR true, so that means Cox Ross Rubenstein tree. Okay, and again, put op is false means call option American equal to false means European. Okay, so let's just run that and observe our results. And you can see here we have uh, both Deriv markets and GG plots have loaded up. We have uh, output for um, the price of the option, which we obtained from this bit of code here. And then in addition, we get uh, an array of data related to, uh, again, the price of the option, which is... Okay, so that's the first issue that we have. We have 1065. And, okay, so to correct for that, we need to specify that the, it is a Cox Ross Rubenstein tree. Otherwise, I think the default is Jarrow Rod, so true. Okay, and we put that in capitals, and I can actually, I think, return that. Right, so let's uh, run that snippet of code again. And this time we get consistent results. So again, it's important that when we specify the binome op, that we specify in particular for looking for Cox Ross Rubenstein tree, that that bit of code is also entered in. When we return X here, when we run X, that produces the output for the price, for the Greeks, and the parameter inputs. Okay, we can copy this uh, output and compare it to actual output that we had before in spreadsheet that was developed specifically to generate a four-step tree which involves five pe periods and we compare the relative outputs okay so we'll paste in and we can see that the Output here is consistent with the manual tree. So the 90.97 is the same. Likewise, uh, the, the parameter inputs, the parameter outputs of P, U, and D, uh, 0, 5, 3, 7, 0, 5, 3, 7, the up uh, value is the same and the down value is also consistent with the manual tree and we can see that these come from manual estimations in the in the spreadsheet okay so um 
Then we should compare perhaps the option price tree. The option price tree is also identical as here. And we can compare the stock price tree, which is also consistent with the manual stock price tree here generated in the spread in the spreadsheet. So the tree, both sets of values, 149, 122, 181, 67, they're the same, and so on. Okay, now if we were to run the American option valuation, we have to make a couple of changes in our code. And let's go back and investigate those. Right, so we need to change here American true, right? true so in each instance we replace American false equal to American true and again this is um, for the binom up here plot it must be true and that's it so let's run that again now it won't make any immediate difference we'll still get the same values because American options with zero dividend will not exercise for a call option when the uh, if there's if the D is equal to zero when the dividend is equal to zero uh, the American call will not option exercise early so the results obtained here are exactly the same as the results we previously estimated okay uh, in this environment then how do we uh, trigger an early exercise in the uh, American call option we can change D for instance to uh, 0 0.05 and if you make the dividend quite high there's a good chance that the uh, American option will exercise early now again just to note uh, when we look here the this is for a European put, we should change that to a call. So binomial put false F A L S E just to ensure that it's a call. Okay, and I'll run that. And this time what we observe is the now we have a new value for the option at 727. It's reduced. And we do have we don't have early exercise. Let's try increase the dividend again to perhaps 10%. Let's run that. And again, 571. Okay, consistent values. Uh, we don't get early exercise. Um, okay, change day to 15%. Right, and we don't get early exercise. Okay, so, okay, so uh, to, cal to correct the binomial plot here, I should change American to true. Right, to true. When I make that change, then the plot should have early exercise. Uh, the green here denotes early exercise. Uh, we have just the early exercise at the terminal nodes, but for the American option, we should have early exercise occurring earlier in the life of the tree so if we ad adjust our code here so that the American is true when we run the output that we get in terms of early exercise being true as is here in the exercise tree should be reflected also here in the uh, American of this should be an American call Okay, so let's run all that again. And we get 727. We find that the, was there early exercise? There is early exercise. We find also that the tree has exercise, so it is American call, and early exercise has occurred at these points, not just at the terminal nodes, but at the penultimate node and the third last set of nodes in the tree okay so just to corroborate then our results we go back into the manual tree 
right? We can look at these values here. Go back into the manual tree and change a couple of lines of code. So we have to incorporate um, the American option. Okay, so insert, move or copy, uh, European option four step. Two, copy. Okay, and then we change this to an American specification and we need to include Q. So go back into our code. For the American option, only requires we need to put in a Q for the DBA code and then change here RF minus Q minus Q and we also need to reflect that in the manual estimation uh, P here should be uh, RF negative negative Q. And what's Q? Q is D. We're going to say 0 0.05. Okay. Right. And return. The value here is having a problem because we need to set out for the CRR tree a value for Q. So if we the spot price is 100 K is 100 t is equal to um one year r is equal to five percent q is five percent we'll type that in um, and we have volatility equal to 20 percent steps are equal to four option type is equal to c and expiry is early expiry so it's American uh, we should have American and that should be a and the value here of 72227 is consistent with the value that we have uh, here 7.27 so $7.27 727 and likewise we can copy the output here including the tree and paste into our spreadsheet copy go back into spreadsheet paste results so we remove the european output from before paste the output that we have here and compare Okay. Okay, so the values I get for the American tree are consistent with the values I have here in the manual tree. The values for the uh, option price tree option price tree are consistent. So seven twenty seven seven okay, so there is some difference here. We'll check that. The results here seven twenty seven are consistent with the value obtained in the tree American tree okay